Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. What are we doing today? It's panel time. We are paneling the camper. Just finished cutting this piece right here. Let's take it inside and see if it fits, guys. Sorry about the lighting, it's terrible. Not a very pleasant day out today. You want some light on the situation? Yay. Boom! Light. And there was light. Look at that, guys. Are we done? The light above your head is really bright. <laughs> You like these new lights? The puck lights. You didn't see that video? Check that video out, guys. The link will be above, hopefully, right about here. You know what, guys? My neighbor was really awesome and was nice enough to lend me his brad nailer. That's how we did it. We already did the ceiling. Brad nailer and the compressor. Tell ya. Life saver. Life saver. Okay, so here we are. I am cutting some of the siding that we discussed already. Corey's got a few pieces up already. Looking sharp. He's working with the goop. I'm just cutting these pieces down so that they will fit. And I've got 12 more to cut. And we're, I'm doing it on this little guy. And if I turn it like here, you can see it fits right in that corner. And I cut off the skinny piece from the angle piece, which by the way, what a godsend. And this piece of counter that we cut off is perfect. It's like it was built for us to use the exacto knife and cut these all down. So, 12 more to go. We'll see where we're at. Hey guys, you know what? We were trying to figure out the trim after we got all the paneling up. As you see, paneling is accomplished. Yay team. And oh, and hello counter. And the countertop. <laughs> and a sink. We'll discuss that later. You'll see me cutting that. I'll just slip that in here. You'll see me cutting it. Marcy was freaking out. Marcy's freaking. This counter we got for a steel, I'm cutting a hole in it. Well, first we chopped that piece off at the back, which was a little bit unnerving to say the least. And, and, and we totally finished all of the paneling. Yes, it's looking nice. Let me turn the other light on for you guys. It's looking nice. Paneling accomplished. There's all the lighting stuff we got going on. And now we're just putting in the counter. And then we're going to do molding. And all these little seams will disappear. Stay tuned. He's cutting out the sink, which is a little bit unnerving as well, because I'm really hoping it doesn't chip too bad. What do you think? I think I better not screw up. We only have one counter. They're not easy to come by, especially right now. Not a lot of places open. Don't really want to go a lot of places, to be honest with you. We are staying home. And this is what's keeping us sane, is working on this camper. 
<laughs> so guys, here's a question. If you're gonna cover count that needs to go in the blooper. Let me drill. see. <laughs> One, if two, you, three, go. <laughs> if you were going to cut the hole for the sink, would you use a jigsaw? Good question. Good question. Or, or would you risk it and go? Dun dun dun. Let's cut most of it with the skill saw. Oh, that's way better light. That lighting over there. Sorry, guys. It sucks. So. Well. I say try with the, I don't know, it's a tough call. Oh goodness. That saw would be tempting, but I think the jigsaw might be a better option. It's just what I'm thinking. Oh, I don't even like the angle you got that at. Good job. I was thinking, ooh, that was scary. That first cut was scary, just saying. Anyway, so. A little sketchy. We're thinking about the trim, and this is all about doing this on a budget. So, we looked at wood, expensive. They sell it by the foot, did you know that? Like, not cheap by the foot, like $2.36 or something, like it's a lot. So, we're hunting around home hardware, and we realize that they have these strips. Home Depot. Home Depot, pardon me. <laughs> these strips. It's hard to see the angle on this, but they have like a, it goes like up around, like goes like up around and into a corner and then it flips around and it has this little teeny extra piece at the end. So it's made. The extra piece here is made for your drywall yeah, to slide angle. into that. There we go. Your drywall is supposed to slide into that. So we thought you could get corner pieces for this and then paint it all nice and this and that. And I thought, well, what about cutting it? And when I cut it, I'll be honest, guys, I made a mess. Where's my piece? This is the first piece I cut. You got to put it against here and then you can kind of see it. And it's a complete mess. It's a little, it's a little jaggedy. Here's my second piece I cut. Also, a, a little jaggedy. <laughs> it was difficult. It wasn't what we thought. You can't cut it with scissors. So Marcy came up with a brilliant idea. We had a part of the countertop here. That we cut off. That was a little freaky deaky. That makes a perfect channel. I put this in here so you can get a nice oh, edge. So you can cut that edge out of there. Let me see. No, it's really light. So you can cut this edge out of there and get it like that. And with that, you acquire two you pieces. Get this nice corner piece, and you end up with this nice flat. Put it up against here. You to see it flat piece that eventually Just will go up, sits up there right to cover that seam. There. Like a sole. And the other piece, demonstrate the other how it goes around the corners. So you get two, two pieces of molding from one piece. And then the other piece, whatever it is. Marcy's charging her phone. The other piece goes right. See, all oh, there. Up that seam so nicely. And it'll also go right in the corners when you flip it around. There. I don't know if you guys can catch that. Oh yeah, there's a good angle of it. So dual purpose, all for the low, low bargain price of. Two dollars and thirty-seven cents for per eight, eight foot length. length. So that's three different types of molding that you would have to buy to go around stuff unless you want to build little box things and then I don't know, kind of looks tacky-ish. All I'm doing is cutting it with just a plain old very sharp, not like you would have seen when I was cutting the insulation. Don't use a doll one of these. My tip when we did the insulation was use a sharp one of these. If you didn't see us insulating this, click the link above. Hopefully I remember to put the link this time. 
Click the link above. If not, maybe I'll put it below. I'm not quite sure. I'm bad at remembering to put the links in there. But that's all I did. So put it on the edge like this. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Not too bad, not too bad. And I would just score it. Right in that crease of the countertop cut off. Cut it. And then as you see, you cut that Two part pieces. off, and there you see a nice angle, and you end up with a nice flat piece after, guys. Here we are, gluing them in, staple gunning them in. What do you need to see? Two, Hi guys. Two staples just to hold on and glue for the rest? Yeah, two or three staples. We have the best neighbors ever. We won't just that little machine, which is a godsend. out beautifully and we're going to paint those and you won't even see those are there you'll see no seams we'll do the little ones across there but that is awesome definitely getting there hard to see i'm sure but you get the gist and there he is he's going to make the wall boo <laughs> we just have neglected the taping this which is such a shame because it's been quite the adventure to say the least so our thought is the bed's behind that so we're putting a little makeshift wall there that will have little counters and a, maybe a cupboard we're not sure yet but we're getting there hey mr lammy what are you doing because we've done an awful lot and not really recorded anything we need to catch the, the progress up so mold, progress up. Yeah, molding has been put along the paneling in the countertop, and then we will put some silicone caulking in there, I think. And he's built this wall and put the bed rail back up and had to chop a little piece over here because we moved it from just sitting on there to, oh, to sitting on there and then a little wall. So you get kind of a View. Yeah. Kind of the gist? Kind of the gist. Let me back up a little bit and see what we got going on here. So a little wall there. Cut that down. Scooch over to the right, Dave. Your right or my right? This way. <laughs> so cut that down. And made this little makeshift wall to cover the different countertops because the countertop wasn't long enough. But it was a great deal at 20 bucks. so how do you pass that up? And built that little wall in there and now we're just putting molding along here and around here and it's starting to look pretty darn starting good. to look like something it is almost all the moldings up and then we will paint and a few other little things so let's start to look good. it's done look at this okay wait 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 let's stop oh. blooper time blooper time for a second that blue light does nothing for your complexion. Your lighting is so wrong. Perhaps you could use the, change the light thing to make it a better light. No, 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 bad. Move on. Well, that's better. No, that's still, well, actually it kind of gives you a tan a little. Like you maybe have been out in the sun. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay, got it. Good. Go back to the normal color, please, and thank you. <laughs> okay, the light's just not fun to watch, so turn that off. It's better when you do do something like that than it is. I'm trying to get a good like. Oh, there's a better angle. Much better. But it looks like weird. Oh, I kind of want to get the good angle. Like, oh. I'm sort of gonna use that down. There you go. Oh yeah, probably. Just for a little bit. So this is your camper. We're not done yet, guys. We've done a ton of work. But we're getting there. The paneling. 
and molding and, mold and lighting is done. Yay. <laughs> this part's not done. <laughs> no? I'm not done yet. <laughs> 